Hey, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a CLI tool. Uh, if you don't subscribe to my channel, take a look at it. Um, subscribe below. Wow, that's a mouthful. Um, if you look at my screen right now, uh, if you also want to support the channel, you can uh, take a look at uh, Please buy a programmer t shirt. Uh, all money kind of goes towards this channel, it encourages me to continue creating videos. I'll, and, uh, I'll also include a link for that down below. So I'm just going to close this. Today we're going to be following this uh, Medium tutorial posted by Thomas here. Um, I was one day using it and it was perfect and it was exactly what I was looking for so I figured I'd actually make a video um, kind of explaining and showing the flow of actually creating this and I'll, I'm going to build this very simple CLI tool, a Hello World CLI tool. And so with that, I'm going to start by actually heading over to GitHub and we're going to create a new project. So uh, on GitHub, you'll, you'll see in the top right corner here, uh, you can go to new repository and we're going to type in uh, hello world, I'll make that one word, CLI. And we'll start with nothing. Um, just copy this. I'm going to open up a terminal here, make the terminal window a little bigger so people can see it. CD over to my desktop and just do a git clone of the CLI tool. I'm going to switch into it, so cd hello world. Um, I'm going to create a readme file. And then uh, I'm just going to add my first commit. So I just got git add all, uh, git add commit, and uh, do a git push so just to get ourselves started here and uh, with that it should refresh this and one thing I like to actually do is use the github UI here to get myself a git ignore because I can actually get the proper Python one here and that's what we're gonna be building our CLI tool in so I'm just gonna do commit rate to brand, uh, master and I'm gonna do a git pull on my terminal I know I did a little jump there and so let's take a look at our, at our um, tutorial here, so CLI, command line interface, pretty simple. And so it's going to show you the structure here, uh, the install, and it has a readme, and then you have a setup file, and this CLI tool inside of there. So I'm going to use a Atom for my project, create a new window here, and just do open, and I was recently doing node stuff. Hello world CLI. Okay, I'm going to do follow their structure. So there's a setup.py in here. There is a hello world CLI. I'm actually going to call this hello world. I don't know if I can get away with it, but we will try. And I have an extra window open here. And so, uh, and the last will be the install.sh. We'll actually add that in now as well. And then there's a few files here we need to add. So we'll add in the um, init file, and we'll also add in the main file. So the main file will be called if once you ref and if you ever refer to this um, folder, you can uh, essentially it gets called if you don't specify an actual file. The init file allows, um, it's just a requirement, I couldn't explain that to you actually to be honest. And then we'll have a PI, um, another Python file in there. Oh, here, uh, the init file is explained. Tell, yeah, okay, so this tells the uh, Python that there's a, contains a package. I did not know that. Okay, so in our setup file, we're going to have, uh, sorry, this is in our main file. We're just going to copy and paste all of this, and this is passing arguments. And so when you're building a CLI tool, I very recommend um, really thinking out what, what kind of arguments you want. So uh, a good example would be Docker. Uh, Docker, it's uh, Docker, um, Docker run, and then so it's yeah, Docker, the action, the context, and then any sort of flags associated with it. And so really recommend actually looking at that. So here I have um, system arguments and this gets receives the first one. So I'm just actually going to comment out all of this here for now. And comment out all of this for now. And we're just going to actually try to run with this. So we'll, we'll go see what's in the install file so that we can actually just try to execute nothing. <laughs> um, 
you have to do uh, setup.py. Setup.py is here. The name of my project is Hello World. Packages is Hello World. Um, sorry. And my version is that, yes. Hello World, and then that goes to Hello World, and it goes to the main function, the main file, and then the main function as my entry point. So that's all set up. Let's keep scrolling down. Uh, we're going to use um, Python E because it's going to allow us for the editables. If you look at the comments here, please use uh, dash E dot command for doing local development. E argument installs a package as an editable package so that you don't have to keep on installing and installing the package with pip. So with that, we're going to do um, pip. I'm going to use I'm going to use Python 2.7 um, personal preference and In install and then the period because I want to install this folder. And through a couple errors relating to um, other packages, but permission denied. Let's try it with the sudo in there. I don't recommend using sudo if you don't know what you're doing. Okay, so now let's install the uh, CLI tools. So I'm going to do hello world CLI. And try that. Command not found. Perfect. Um, I'm really hoping that it was, it was going to be hello world. And it is. So as you can see, I have hello world test. And, I, and I'm able to pass in pr um, an argument of test. And I can catch the arguments here. So with this, you could. Uh, continue on, so you could say essentially handle the um, inst. Let me if I can actually find the proper file. Here you can essentially um, build out your um, validation, so you you can f always verify the number of arguments you have. So it's like make sure that let's say again, I'm using the Docker as an example. Um, you have run and then you have the action. So you have um, sorry the action and then the context. So like run container, I guess is is the example I'm thinking of. Um, so you always have the action, so you have to have a minimum of one action, and then um, it's a lot. Of, you may need to also have a second action, uh, the context for that as well. And you can do the validation in here, make sure you have enough parameters, and then begin to um, um, essentially parse between different actions. And I recommend putting different actions in different files. Um, you can see that here; uh, they have an example of how to do that with um, it's just referring to another file with Python. I have lots of videos on Python. Uh, please check them out. So this is just your basic CLI tool. Um, I'm going to push all this code to GitHub. Uh, please subscribe. I'm coming with another video next week.